Bonjour à tous, c'est Sébastien sur Un Cupcake L'Addition. Paul m'a demandé de faire exceptionnellement cette vidéo en français. Donc aujourd'hui, nous allons faire toute cette vidéo en français. J'espère que, que vous avez bien étudié et que vous allez être capable de suivre. No, we're going to make it in English. Paul, Paul told me to make this joke. So I'm really happy to be here with you all today. We are, uh, we are on caking all over the world. I'm Sebastian from Un Cupcake L'Addition and I am very excited to be back here. I told you I would be back. They wanted me out, but I'm sticking to here. I'm sticking here. And today we are going to make my Halloween besties, not beasties, David, besties. And as you know, I've broken the tail just be uh, before the video, but that doesn't matter. That's still on to it. And uh, now comes the, and this is all, the, by the way, all the Halloween-y I can get. This is a special uh, tri tribute to uh, Daniela Cabrera from Mexico. This is the, my Day of the Dead hat. And we are going to get to it because we only have 15 mi minutes and then they kick me out because they're like this. So let's get to it. I'm going to change my computer to uh, my uh, my camera to another stand. I hope I won't shoot everything. Okay. There we go. Can you see it properly? I think so. So I am going to go very quickly on the first part because I'm always, always doing that is uh, on my modelings, I'm always checking what parts I want to make first. I want some parts always to harden before everything. So in this modeling, this is the tail because it's a little fragile. So we're going to do it right, right now. And the eyes because I like to be able to manipulate them, to move them around, to push them inside them, my modelings without losing their shapes. So that's the first thing we are going to do. So hang on, I'm going to take my modeling there. So for my eyes, I'm always using this mold. Those who have seen my videos know it. This is a pearl silicone mold. You can see, you can find it easily online. And, um, and uh, it helps me to have eyes calibrated exactly the same size for everything. Because when you're making such uh, little modelings, you want, uh, you want everything to be exactly the same size. You can't really eyeball your quantities. And I will show you a few tricks so that all uh, the pieces of your modelings will be the same size. So I'm just going to show you two eyes because of course I made mine early so that they can harden properly. So I'm using a little cornstarch and I'm going to uh, dust the one, two, three, third biggest cavity and Five, uh, four, five, the fifth biggest cavity, okay? Just a little dust. Off camera, I'm going to take off the excess. There we go. And I make only two eyes, but of course, we've got two, um, uh, two besties. Uh, not beasties, as David says, okay? Now we are the TikTok generation. We don't have best friends anymore. We have besties. So I'm just going to make two eyeballs, but I would of course make four because they have two eyes. So I make a nice ball of white gum paste. I would make a second ball of white gum paste, but I'm making it yellow. Okay. I place it in my fifth cavity. There we go. With a ball tool, I'm going to press down the paste very well. Okay. Because I want to achieve the, uh, the shape very, very well. This I can store away. And I am going to take my blade. This is a female blade. I'm going to push with my finger and I'm going to pass underneath my finger. I'm trying not to make a bloodbath here, okay, which would be nice for Halloween, but not for me. I it's stuck to my. Uh, don't worry too much. I'm going to reshape it. Okay, it's stuck to my blade, of course. 
and I'm taking the excess. Okay, same on the yellow paste. There we go, it was easier for the yellow pa paste. And now I'm unmolding, and as you can see, I've got two really nice eyeballs. So now for uh, the white eyeball, I'm going to make a hole with a ball tool, okay, here. I would make a second hole on the, on the second one with a second ball tool. And for the, um, the cat eye, I'm going to make an indentation with my Dresden tool. Okay. Now I need some black paste. Okay, a little black gum paste. I would put a little ball of black gum paste here inside this eye like so I hope so yes it looks good and here on the other one I would make a little sausage like uh, it's a little too big like so There we go. You can see I'm not using water or anything to stick because my gum paste sticks just enough to avoid it. Every time I can avoid to use water, I'm avoiding it. And now I would have to make a little point of light. This is very important. Okay. So I'm just going to take a little bit of white icing, white color icing. And a little ball tool, I'm going to dip the ball tool inside the white and I'm going to make just a little point of light here. It just gives a very, um, uh, a very lovely look to your, uh, to your eyes. It just changes everything, look. There we go. And now I'm going to switch to the eyeballs I made earlier. Okay, I'm going to show you the difference. There we have. These ones I made uh, yesterday so that they are really hard. Okay, these ones I wouldn't be able to push them inside my modelings, they will lose their shape. So these ones are completely hard and we will be able to work with them. So I'm going to add a little extra to the uh, to these eyeballs. You can see that I made this one really pale yellow. This was volu this was uh, voluntary. I'm going to take a little dust. Okay, it just fell by itself on my paper towel. I don't need much. I'm going to dip my a uh, brush blush brush inside the dust and i'm going to take my white eyeballs and i'm just going to clean my hands and i'm just going to dust here on the sides this will just give something not really uh, evident to the eye okay but it will give your modelings something really interesting, okay? People won't necessarily be able to point at what's going on, okay? But they have a little extra that makes all the difference. So I'm always recommending to dust your modelings. And uh, this is a really important step, I think, now. When you're when you're making modelings, it just gives a little more depth. It just makes them really interesting. Okay, look, there's a really imperceptible uh, difference, but here they are, and I'm going to do the same on the yellow. So I'm just going to take another one. I'm going to take powder dust lemon yellow. I really like this uh, this brown. This is sugar flare, and I've made a mess. I really like this uh, this brand. This is Sugar Flare because they have 
tons and tons of, um, of shades. And I love them. And I'm going to take, again, a blush brush and my yellow eyeballs, and I'm going to dust all around, like this. Yes, Sharon, I'm using gum paste. Uh, I'm using a fondant, and I'm mixing 750 grams of fondant with one teaspoon of uh, CMC for to obtain my gum paste. I wrap it very well in plastic, okay, and um, I leave it at least four hours, better overnight, to cure. Some people say you don't need to, uh, you don't need your gum paste to cure. I like it better, a little cured. It gets stronger, it gets uh, more flexible, and I like it this way. So we are getting there. So again, our eyes, I need a little more here. I made such a mess with the dust. So again, from a very pale yellow, we made eyeballs quite more interesting. So I'm just going to put them here on the side because we're not going to use them right now. I am going to take this off. And unfortunately, you will have to see me wash all the mess I made because I made a mess here. There we go. And uh, my hands are also all messy. I got all yellow, I hope I won't stain my modelings. This is a good thing with the live, you have all those problems that are happening. Okay, I think we're good. So now, again, I'm always saying when you're doing a, um, a modeling so small, you have to uh, weigh uh, your quantities, or at least that's my trick because I want to eyeball my quantities. So for my pumpkin, I prepared a 70 grams uh, bowl of uh, orange gum paste, okay? I made it a little, um, a little, hi Jackie, I see you. I made it a little clearer, okay? Because I'm going to dust it again, like the eyeballs. If you want, um, if you want to make a modeling without dusting it, Please uh, make a little darker uh, gum paste. But here I wanted it. I wanted it quite pale, so I made it from my gum paste. I made a ratio of one red for two yellows. Okay, to obtain this 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 shade. So always, always need very well your paste. It's cold today, so. My gum paste went really hard. I'll try to move a little my camera because I'm not really centered. Yes, Sharon, I have a lot of tips up my sleeve. <laughs> Hi, Harrison. Cool, I can read your, I can read your comments. I'm a man, but I can do two things at the same time. There we go, we're getting to it. We want it to be very uh, stretchy, very flexible, okay? Because otherwise you will have cracks, you will have stuff. There we go. I'm getting to the consistency I like. Now I'm going to make a ball. Uh, 
Hi Maria, yes, I'm working hard. Hi Karen from Soliho. Or Soliho, I don't know how you pronounce it. Been there, this is where this is close to uh, to Birmingham, right? So you make a very nice bowl, you don't want any cracks, any problem on it. This is very important because we're going to dust it. And if you have cracks, it will be very hard to, uh, to take them out. And they will show once you're uh, applying your, your dust. Okay, so I have a very nice bowl. I'm going to flatten it a little here. I'm going to take a bowl tool. I'm going to press here on the top. Okay, I flatten it. Eh? I don't know if you can see it. I'm going to press a little here on the top, right on the other side, on the bottom. And I'm going to take my Dresden tool and I'm going to make, in, to begin to make indentations. So first across and then here and there. So I know where I'm going to go. Okay, uh, I made four lines. And now I'm going to build my ribs, the ribs of my pumpkin, little by little. So I'm going to begin to press like this. Okay, and every time I'm pressing, I'm going a little deeper. Don't go too fast. Don't begin with a, with a big, uh, big indentations because if you're wrong, you will do something something uh, crazy. You will rip your gum paste or something. And then when I've done this indentation, I'm going to go on the sides. Again, like this, like this. There we go. There, there, and I'm going to make my way all the way to the bottom, okay? Little by little, you need patience for that. People say that I don't have any patience, but at least when I'm modeling, I have a lot. At least it seems. There we go. Hi, Frances from Ireland. Ah, oh, thank you. And once I'm here, I'm doing the same that I've done earlier. Okay. So this will be the bottom. It doesn't matter if it looks really good. There we go. And now I have my ribs made. I'm going to go deeper all the way from the top to the bottom this way going to go like this with my Dresden tool now I have make the drawings of my ribs I can go very deep okay beginning from the top going to the bottom here like this okay my Dresden tool is a little like this shape okay triangular shape so it's it helps a lot this is actually my favorite, uh, my favorite Dresden tool. I think I got it from PME, and I've got always uh, a few of them in my drawers because I can't live without them. I think if there was only one tool I wanted to keep, this would be this one, because you can do everything with a Dresden tool. You can push, you can place, you can pock, you can indent. Okay. And I think we're getting to it, okay? I've got my nice pumpkin shape. I'm going to go all the way down, okay? To make sure I've got the ribs going all the way down. Okay, and there we have a pumpkin. I am going to prepare the place where I am going to make, to put the eyes. So I'm going to check with my bowl tools what size uh, would be the best for uh, the eyeballs. I think 
this one and uh, uh, this one will be good. So I'm going just to press, I'm going to, to take first the side that looks better. There's always a side that looks better, even on your cakes. Don't lie. And I'm going just to press here to prepare the place where I will put my eyeballs. And oh, this one is a little too small. And here. So this is where I will place my eyeballs later. I want to make a little mouth. So I'm going to take another ball tool and I'm going to make it here. So I press with the ball tool and I go inside. Okay, not too profound, but not too deep, but here. I'm going to take my Dresden tool again. And I'm going to push a little, a, a lower lip. So I'm going to draw it first and then I just push it up. Okay, like this. There we go. I'm going to take a little, very little ball of black gum paste. Okay, I think this is more than enough. Here, and I will want to put it inside the hole I made. It's a little too big. There we go, and I'm going to push it with the same ball tool I used, and I have a black mouth, okay? Doing this, I moved a little my, my lips, so I'm going to reshape it a little, okay? There we go, so this I'm going to take away, and I'm going to take, again, dusts, because this is the day of dusts. I'm going to use a sunset orange, Okay, this is a little too inside. I'm going to not try to make a mess this time with the dusts. I will need a little more here. There we go. I didn't make a mess for the moment. Okay, and I'm going to take two blush brushes. I'm going to take a little one that is a little uh, uh, bigger and the one that is flat, okay? This will help me form the ribs. So the first thing I'm going to do is always steep my, uh, powder, uh, my uh, blush brush inside the powder, okay? And go very uh, cleaning it on my paper towel. You don't want to stain your modeling and you will begin from the bottom. We want to dust very well the bottom. Okay. Of course you want to go a little up on, uh, on the ribs and on the sides because otherwise the bottom, of course, won't be seen. So your dust won't be seen, okay? So you go this way. Okay. I made a big stain here, not listening to the, to the advice I'm, I'm making, which is dusting, uh, cleaning your, your brush. On the top, you do exactly the same we've done on the bottom. Okay. Remember there will be a cat, so there will be shades here. There we go, we're getting to what we want. There we go, and I'm beginning to make a mess again. And now I'm going to take my uh, 
flat blush brush and I'm going to touch the ribs. There we go. Dust also the side of the mouth, okay, there we go. I'm going to clean this brush very well and I'm going to take off the excess of dust all around, okay. Now the dust part, I would normally do it once my modeling is dry, it helps a lot, okay. I'm dusting also the orbits. Okay, there we go. This I will store away. Okay, to check my hands, I need to clean them again. Always clean your hands if you don't want to to stain your modeling. Look, it, it looks it looked like I didn't have, have dust on my on my hands, but they were really dirty with. Uh, with dust. There we go. And I'm going to take just a little bit of uh, glue. I'm not using glue usually, but I would use today. I'm going to put glue here. Okay, maybe a little behind the eyeballs. Not too much, you don't want the glue to appear or to poke outside your modelings. And you are going to put the eyes a little like this. And this is where it was important to make them in advance because now we are going to press the eyeballs inside our modelling. Okay? And there we have a cute, cute, cute pumpkin. Cool. Now we are getting to the leaves. So I'm going to take a little green gum paste. I don't need much. Okay. Again, I dyed it green. Um, very, very. Thanks, Jackie, for the stars. Thanks, Virginia. So I dyed my um, gum paste, my green gum paste, very light again because I'm going to give it a little dust. If you're not using dust, make it the color you want the the end. So I'm going to make a swirl. I don't remember how you call that. A tendril, but uh, I, I took some notes, but I don't remember how you'd call that. So I'm going to make a string. Let's call it a string. Okay like this more or less it's a little too big so i'm going to cut here i don't need that much length and there we go and i'm going to take anything i'm going to use a uh, uh, this thin uh, brush and i'm going to roll this around like this like this okay and I'm going to forget about it for a few minutes there we go I'm going to take back my gun paste take a little bit of it Okay, roll it into a nice and smooth ball. Okay, and then with my finger, I'm going to make a teardrop shape and flatten it. 
again a second one roll it teardrop shape flatten it and with my Dresden tool I'm going to indent from here the fat, the fat part of the teardrop and go all the way down hi Caroline all the way down I'm amazed at what a man can do two things at the same time I can read the comments and I can work okay like this and I'm just going to now pinch here okay and pinch there so I have two nice little leaves. Maybe they are a little small, uh, smaller than I wanted, but doesn't matter really. I'm just going to take the this I made. Just a little bit of glue, but very little here. I'm going to put on the top, and I'm going to make this like this. and just attach it more or less here don't forget we will have a cat so if this looks ugly for the moment it won't be seen later okay I'm going to take one leaf here and I'm going to place it here and give it a funky shape maybe like this we imagine that we have a weight on uh, the pumpkin and that the leaf is just doing this is just doing this uh, this movement so here again on this side funky movement so that's small less what we what we wanted my leaves are a little bit small but that's okay I don't care and I'm going to take again a little dust this time I won't make a mess, you'll see. Very little here. And a very small brush. I'm going to go inside the indentation, a little on the sides. It's just to give a little shade on it. Try not to stain your modeling underneath. Okay, this would be a pity. Yes, I'm seeing the comments, but not all the comments. <laughs> I'm trying. I almost made a mess. Always, always clean your brush, okay? This is very important. Otherwise, you make ugly stains, and ugly dust stains, you can't do anything about them, or at least I don't know. If you have a solution, please tell me. But once your modeling is, is, uh, is dusted... Okay, I think we're getting there. Okay, we haven't dusted them uh, a lot. We just gave it a little a little depth okay because if you've dusted the all re the rest of the of the modeling if you don't do if you don't dust it you uh, it will be it, it will look strange okay even if it's not really perceptible it will look strange again clean 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 because i had made a little mess i must admit okay let's get to the kitty we're going to put this on the sides. Okay, let's clean a little the mess around. Uh, for the kitty, as I told you, I'm always. I, I see that I forgot something. I forgot to make the tail, but that doesn't matter because I make a tail earlier. So for the tail of the kitty, I'm going to take a two and a half. Uh, bowl of, of black gum paste that's magical it's two and a half centimeters because I weighed it earlier okay 
knead very well. Ball, very nice and smooth ball. Thank you, Jenny. We make uh, an elongated teardrop shape like this. Okay. And I'm going to go, this is not always necessary, but if you're in a hurry and you want it to harden and to get and, and to stay straight, you will need this. This is um, um, a flower wire and I'm going to introduce it inside the tail and rolling the tail, I'm going to introduce it inside. Okay, more or less up to here. You will see that the tail is losing a little its shape. Don't worry too much because once we've cut this here, we are going to reshape it a little like this with the wire inside. Okay. So the wire is really not compulsory. If you have time to leave your tail a, a harden, you don't need the wire, okay? And it's actually even better if you're making uh, cupcakes for uh, your, uh, your kids or for children to avoid it. And once you have this shape, okay, this elongated teardrop, you can give it a shape. For example, we can make a question mark, okay? And this we would allow to dry, okay? I made mine yesterday and I allowed it to dry all night, so I have the tail, it's nice and firm. Uh, let's go for the kitty cat. I've prepared quantities of gum paste so that we don't lose time on this. I'm a cheater, okay. For the head, I'm using 10 grams of gum paste. For the body, I'm using 15 grams of gum paste. And for the legs, I'm using two grams and two grams. Easy. I'm going to begin with the body, with the 15 grams of gum paste. Okay need very well. I think I went a little hard on the tylos here. My black gum paste is quite strong. There we go. Make a nice ball, okay? Press it well in your hands. Heat well your gum paste, okay? Once you have a nice ball without cracks, very smooth, make it a big teardrop shape. People who know me know that I make sausages and teardrops. That's all I do with my modelings, okay? And you will obtain more or less this shape, okay? And this shape, I want to curve it a little, a little more. I'm going to make it a little more elongated. Okay, this will be the body of our cat, and we're going to shape it this way. And again, I'm going to use a toothpick on my modeling because I don't have time to allow it to dry. If you have time, and if you're making above all for children, allow it to dry. And I'm going to place it like this on my modeling. Okay this way and with the, um, the toothpick I'm going to go all the way through rolling my toothpick okay making sure it can be seen and I'm going to pinch right on the pumpkin included okay and once I'm here I'm just going to press it down maybe with a ball tool Okay, I'm going just to cut this part like this and I'm going to press it all the way down. It 
if I can, if I can press it down, what can I push it with? Dresden tool, I told you everything with a Dresden tool. There we go. Okay. There we go, we have our shape. If the shape lost a little the definition you want, you just reshape it right on the modeling. Okay, there we go. Now we're going to make the head with the 10 gram ball uh, of gum paste. God, it's hard, it's, it's gum paste. I didn't eyeball very well my, uh, my quantities of gum paste. Thank you, Jessica. Thank you, Deidre. Sorry for those, I didn't see the comments. I can't uh, really scroll down and need my gum paste at the same time, but if you have question, questions, don't, uh, don't hesitate, okay? I will answer them once I'm finished with this. Okay, I make a ball again. I'll make it a little bit uh, oval. And now I have gum paste on all my fingers. So I'm going to clean it because I'm going to touch the eyeballs and I don't want to stain my eyeballs, to stain, to stain the eyeballs. There we go. Clean, clean, clean. Always clean your fingers once you touch uh, black because otherwise you will make a disaster. And as it is so small, on a, on a big modeling, maybe it won't be seen. On a small modeling, every single problem you have will be seen. So you can see that I've put big eye, big eye ear, uh, small eye there, okay? And I'm going to make the contrary, okay? Small, so small eye, big eye. So I'm going to put this one here. And this one, I'm just going to put a little water here, maybe. Just very little water. And now I can press them. So again, I told you this was important to make uh, the eyeballs in advance because otherwise I would have never been able to press them. Okay, I press them in my gum paste and now I reshape my head. Okay, and I will glue the head on the modeling, like this. If you press here a little, you create already the place where we're going to place the ears, okay? So I've pressed it here. Okay, now I'm going to make the legs. This was two grams, I think I can remember. Yes, two grams. Yes, uh, Deborah, modeling paste, 750 grams of, gum, of uh, fondant. Uh, mixed very well with one teaspoon of CMC of Tylos. You need very, very well, not a little, no. You need very well your gum paste. And uh, you uh, wrap it in plastic and leave it to cure overnight. I need to go fast now, okay? Because I see we have only six minutes left. And we will finish this. We will go, get to the end. So this is the legs. Again, knead very well and teardrop shapes. Like this and like this. There we go. And we are going to push them with the Dresden tool to give them this little shape. Okay. And we're going to attach them on the sides. like this and 
like this like this okay I am going to place the tail already for this I'm going to use a little ball tool and make it here okay I can uh, maybe this will be a little long I'm going to cut it a little there we go and I'm going to use a little oh, where's my brush here and place it here okay our tail is on okay the good thing to have let, let it harden is that it stays in place okay now we have still a little bit to do so I'm going to take plug and paste there we go neat very well this I don't need The brand of the modeling page, the brand of the fondant I'm using is a Portuguese brand, really not well known. This is credit paste. And I'm going to roll it into a thick layer, okay, with thick rings. I'm going to leave it here. I'm going to take pink, clean your hands always I'm going to take pink okay knead very well the pink layer thin layer this time There we go. I'm going to take this is an 802 uh, 802 piping tip and I'm going to make circles here. There we go. And this again roll. triangular shapes here one two place them here indent them inlay them and there we have here's okay just going with the tool here to make them circles there we have there we are so I will just paste it here okay one here two here's okay like this they look a little funky but we are on the hours and for the pals going to make sausages with the shapes I've cut like this and indent them one two three four and place them on the modeling two here in the front one here a second one here third one here and fourth one here okay and just the last detail because 
we have left a little butthole here. Put a pinky stuff here and with your tool make this. Don't tell me black cats don't have this. And this is, and we forgot the, the nose. And we have his little nose. Okay. And this is it. We are done with our modeling today. Okay. I hope you liked my demonstration. Okay. It was a little rushed at the end, but we have finished it. What do you think? This is our little kitty cat for Halloween. Did you like it? So bye-bye, everybody. I hope you enjoyed today's demonstration. Bye-bye. How do I stop this now?